everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We actually had a pretty slow week of racing with only five drivers seeing action, but let's get right to the results. Anthony Alfredo was at Indianapolis Motor Speedway's road course for the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard. Let's get a post-race recap from Anthony. Extremely long day here at, uh, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. We got door slammed over that inside curb on lap one and broke the sway bar arm. So we ran the entire race with no sway bar hooked up. So it felt like I was driving a motorboat the whole time. Extremely hard to drive. Um, we were actually still somehow fast enough to run about 25th as far as our speed, but uh, we tried to fix under that caution and couldn't. So we went three laps down. Probably shouldn't even have tried, but you know, risk versus reward. Had to had to try something, I guess, because if we could have fixed it, we would have been that much better. So big thanks to the guys for working so hard as always. And uh, uh, Cindy Elliott, everyone from Elliott's trailer came to the track today. Uh, I hate it for them, but we almost made it to the end and with just over 10 to go, broke a track bar mount. So we couldn't even finish, tried to limp it home. But uh, thanks for everyone's support. This year has been extremely frustrating for uh, not just me, but the whole team. We've just been tested, seems like week in and week out, but. Uh, We'll keep getting on our feet and fighting. Up next for Anthony, Daytona International Speedway for the Coke Zero 400 on Saturday night. That night race is one of the coolest races all year. Jesse Love was at Dell's Raceway Park in his number 21 Mobile One Toyota for the Badger State 125. Jesse was fastest in both practice sessions and qualified third but had to start 11th with the invert. Jesse very patiently worked his way towards the front and was setting at fifth at the halfway break. Jesse battled the likes of Ty Majeski and Luke Finhouse and worked his way to second with 10 to go. Jesse had a great battle with NASCAR's Johnny Sauter for the win and came up a half a car length short at the finishing line, finishing in second. Great run by the California driver. Up next for Jesse, Arca Menard Series West at Irwindale Speedway on August 24th, where he enters the race as the championship points leader. Brody Moore was back in his super late model at Colorado National Speedway for the 150 lap Challenge Cup. Brody qualified 11th and brought home a 10th place finish. Let's check in with the driver and get his take on the weekend. Hey everyone, we just finished up the 46th running of the 150 lap Challenge Cup race at Colorado National Speedway. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Garage Condo, Storage You Can Own, Assurance Risk Managers, a and Topper Seals and Chuck Accessories, Race Face Advancement, and Friend of Jacqueline. But I'd especially like to give a huge shout out to my team for the hard work they did. They worked their butts off when we were able to get a 10th place finish. Our next race will be at Madeira Speedway this, this Saturday on the 21st. You can tune into that on Short Track Live TV on YouTube. So we'll see you then. Up next for Brody, back to Madeira Speedway for round seven of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series on August 21st. Hudson Bolger was at Chris Motorsports Park for the Georgia Summer Nationals. Hudson qualified his number 17 Byron Power Sports Young Lion Legend Car 11th overall. Both Young Lions and Semi Pros raced together in the combined A Main. Hudson brought home an 11th place finish. Up next for Hudson, Sanoa Speedway on August 21st on the dirt. Cole Denton was also at Chris Motorsports Park where he competed in the Bandolero Outlaw Combined Race. Cole finished first in the Bandit class and third overall. Let's check in with Cole for a post-race recap. Hey everyone, my name's Cole Denton. Today we're at Chris Motorsports Park with a uh, great race and we had four of us. I started fourth and all four of us, the top four, were battling like crazy. And then there was a wreck on lap two. Very bad, it was right behind me. I barely avoided it because thankfully I was ahead of it. So then we restarted and we had a great battle, three wide ones. I backed off because I didn't want to wreck anyone. And then I fell back and then in the end we finished second and third like this. Side so, by side, photo Side finish. by side, so I got third. But I worked my way up to second one point and then Park after a lot of rain. Bye everyone. 
Up next for Cole, Bandolero Nationals at Charlotte Motor Speedway on August 21st. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Sheldon Creed will be at Worldwide Technology Raceway in Madison, Illinois for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and Round 1 of the playoffs on Friday, August 20th. Joey East will be back in the Arkham Menard Series West at Irwindale Speedway on August 21st. Joey is the most current winner coming off a win at Colorado National and will be looking to make it two in a row. Connor Mozak returns to the Arkham Menard Series at Michigan International Speedway on August 20th with Young Motorsports. Cassidy Hines will be back in her pro truck at Colorado National Speedway on August 21st. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face Drivers. So go out there, have a great race week, I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.